We received information about a dog wandering around town with a plastic box on its head. Immediately, we moved there and saw the poor animal. It was really a bony dog, it was so skinny, it was unknown how long it had to starve. Local people shared that this situation has been going on for nearly three weeks. The dog cannot drink nor eat. There are many times when people want to come closer and help but he is very wary. He avoids people and doesn't let anyone near him. But how did the dog get stuck in the plastic jar? People thought it had been rummaging through the trash looking for something to eat, and this happened later. We can easily find similar plastic jars thrown around town. While asking around about the dog situation, it appeared again. They said that it often comes to play with this close friend and named Boxel. The dog was very hungry and tried to eat the food but the plastic jar prevented it. He could only lick some of the water from the bottle and sigh sadly. Boxel is also very worried about his friend, he constantly wags his tail and licks the bottle to find a way to help him. Unable to wait any longer, the rescue began immediately. We brought in barriers to set up a barrier around here. As usual, the dog came to visit Boxel and we immediately slammed the door. He panicked and tried to run away, but the fence helped me catch him. The dog was sedated and then urgently transported to the nearest animal hospital. The doctor carefully removed the plastic bottle from his head, a cute little face. There were no scars or other external problems but the trouble came from severe dehydration. This causes internal organs to fail, especially the kidneys. Animals will always have some fat in their belly to protect their organs, but here it's all been consumed for vital energy. The doctor also said that it was truly a miracle that the dog survived without food for two weeks, because normally they would die after starving for three to five days. It was fed several meals a day and left to rest at the hospital. After a week, joy came when we were allowed to welcome him back home. The dog was still so confused and worried that he didn't dare step out of the cage. Instead of forcing him, we placed snacks every 10 centimeters. It was a bit hesitant but eventually came out and slowly walked towards me. After many times of training, it sat next to me like friends. Perhaps he opened his heart and completely trusted us. Well done little guy, let's live happily together from now on.